pops in there. Sorry, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> you can edit my part out of the video. <laughs> no, you're going in there. Just Welcome back, YouTube. It's your boy, YouTube Lord, coming at you with another great stinking video here today. Yeah! Okay. So today we're looking at my Canic TP9 SF again. Here it is in all of its black beauty. Looking dangerous as ever. So, 18 round magazines are pretty good. That's a good amount of ammo, but you know what's better than 18? 20 rounds. So here we got sitting two TP9 series 20 round magazines from Century Arms. I purchased these from Pepper Gun Shop. $26.99 a piece. Shipping was $12, which is expensive, but they're basically the only place that's selling them for a reasonable price. And Cheaper Than Dirt selling them, but I will never shop from Cheaper Than Dirt ever after what they did to uh, the gorging after Sandy Hook with their magazines selling P mags for hundreds of dollars, which they lost my business then. Now, as you can see here, there's a quantity of one on this. And if you see sitting there right here, two magazines. So what they did is they accidentally shipped me another one. Now, me being the moral, upstanding citizen I am, called them and let them know of their mistake. I offered to send it back to them, all the likes. They're like, oh, okay, you can send it back. Now, instead of me going through all the trouble of sending it back, and I knew months down the line, maybe I mean months, maybe even weeks, I'd come back and buy another one, I offered just to buy it right off the bat. They were very grateful that I was honest to them with their simple mistake. I understand mistakes happen, but it is they cut me a deal. They did zero shipping, because obviously it's already shipped to me, and they cut off the shipping price back to them. So they sold me the second magazine for $24 shipped. They also said that their owner would get back with me and send me a goodie bag, which is pretty awesome. And if I do get that, I'll be making a short video to show you guys Prepper Gun Shop's uh, policy and their customer service. But from what I talked, they were really cool about it. They were happy that I was honest with them. So, as you guys can tell, hope you guys can tell that karma does kind of exist. And if you do good things, good things come back on you. Yes, I could have just kept this magazine and not told them, but I don't want to be the one stealing from a small gun shop. I mean, heck, they're trying to make ends meet, and I'm sitting here like I'm stealing one of their mags that they're already not making much money off, I'm sure. So, if you take any lesson from today's video, it pays to be do good and be good to your fellow gun owners, because as always, we are a community. Okay, now back to the actual magazine itself. So as you can see, gun is empty. Magazine is empty as well. I'll leave it locked back for you. So here is the normal 18 round magazine. It is a matte finish and you have windows for 18. Let's pop open one of these bad Jacksons real quick. Pop that off. And here's a 20 rounder, which is unique because it is the slick of the original TP9SA and TP999 magazines, which I'm guessing they had a bunch of these spare ones left and MetGuard Guard just decided they couldn't sell them with the new guns, they just convert them into 20 round mags. So what they did is, they added just a plus two base plate, as you can see right there. It says plus two, hope you guys can see that kind of well, it's kind of dark in here, I know. You have your normal viewing for 20, or I'm sorry, 18, but you can in fact hold 20. So what we're gonna do is, pause the video, I'm gonna open one of these boxes of ammo to the left here, and I'm gonna show you guys loading 20 rounds. Okay, got some Freedom Munitions 124 grain out here. Now, don't even get me started on free munitions. I hate their shipping policy. It takes forever to ship, but man, do they sell some good quality ammo for cheap. So we got a full thing of 50 here, empty magazine. I'm going to start loading it. I'm not going to count out loud because I'm hoping everyone here can do basic, basic arith arithmetic. Well, I can't do basic English, but you know. That's why I'm an engineer, not an English major. There's five. That was the first time I've loaded this mag. This is right out of the box, too, as you guys have seen. So the springs aren't broken in at all, at all. Ugh. I have heard some rumors that these, they use the same s springs as the 18 rod magazine, so sometimes, sometimes they have failure to lock back. Um, I haven't shot them yet. I'm going to throw in some shooting from my range video uh, at the end of this video, maybe even the beginning, just to show you guys that hopefully it does lock back or it doesn't. Now I can't comment on that right now because, like I said, I haven't won shooting yet. 
There is 15. See how well that matched up in the back there? That is your 15 hole right there. 15, 16, 17. So that's 18, which is the normal capacity. All of it's 18. See if we can fit two more in here. 19. Oh, she's tight, and that is 20. 20 rounds in this magazine. We'll even see if we can fit 21. No, 20 is definitely, 20 is definitely the max, the maximum there. So what we're gonna do is, the gun is empty, as you can see. We're gonna lock it forward, and we're gonna insert the 20 round magazine to see if how it seats. Fully loaded, slide lock, slide closed. A little bit of force, but it definitely locked back nicely. I'm not gonna chamber around now, so you safety Nazis don't go crazy on me. But right now, if the gun is loaded, it is not chambered, and pretty hefty if I do say so myself. As you can see, it does stick out additional, I'd say, half inch here at the bottom, which when you're holding it like so, like normally like this, it gives you actually your pinky down here some extra room to grip it. I like that, actually. And plus for three gun, 20 rounds is a lot better than 18. That's an additional target you can engage. Now dropping it, it falls out just fine. Once again, it locks in good. It doesn't even take much force, honestly. Just a slap and it's good. So that's it, guys. I ordered two of those bad Jacksons. Hold 20 rounds just fine. And at the end of this video, maybe the beginning, whatever I feel like when I'm editing it, I'll throw in some shooting and you guys can see how it prefer performs. So, that's all YouTube. Hope you guys learned something today. I hope you guys have a beautiful freaking day. Yeah, that's an awkward ending. I know. It's going to happen. 20 round magazine. Plus, 20 rounds, it's just a two round base plate on this too. So it's the same magazine, but it's at X plus two base plate on it. Actually, she's a crutch at all. It's a work.